This chapter explains the idea of rational agents, which is a central concept in artificial intelligence. A rational agent is an entity that perceives its environment and takes actions that are expected to achieve the best possible outcome according to a given performance measure. Rationality depends on the agent's percepts, prior knowledge, available actions, and the goals it is designed to achieve. It does not mean perfection, but rather making the best decision with the information and resources available. An agent interacts with its environment through sensors and actuators. The information received from sensors at any moment is called a percept, and the complete history of percepts forms the percept sequence. An agent's behavior is formally described by an agent function, which maps percept sequences to actions. In practice, this function is implemented by an agent program running on a physical architecture such as a computer or a robot. Thus, an agent can be understood as the combination of an architecture and a program. The environment includes everything outside the agent that influences its behavior. Environments differ in complexity and can be classified in several ways, such as fully observable or partially observable, deterministic or non-deterministic, episodic or sequential, static or dynamic, discrete or continuous, and known or unknown. Some environments are simple and predictable, while others are complex and constantly changing. Taxi driving is an example of a highly challenging environment because it involves uncertainty, continuous change, multiple agents, and limited observability. To design an intelligent agent, the task environment must be clearly specified. This is done using the PEAS description, which defines the performance measure, environment, actuators, and sensors. A well-defined task environment helps ensure that the agent's behavior can be properly evaluated and improved. The chapter also introduces different types of agent designs. Simple reflex agents act only on the current percept. Model-based reflex agents maintain internal state to represent aspects of the world that are not directly observable. Goal-based agents select actions that move them closer to achieving specific goals. Utility-based agents choose actions that maximize expected utility. Learning allows all types of agents to improve their performance over time, increasing autonomy and enabling them to succeed in a wider range of environments. A heuristic function h of n is used in informed search to estimate the cost from a given node to the goal. It works together with g of n, which represents the cost from the start node to the current node, and f of n, which combines both values to guide the search. In route finding problems, for example, a heuristic may estimate the remaining distance to the destination. Informed search algorithms use heuristic information to explore the most promising paths first, improving efficiency compared to uninformed search. Greedy best first search is an informed search strategy that always expands the node with the lowest heuristic value h of n. Although it is fast, it does not guarantee an optimal solution because it ignores the cost already incurred. Satisficing search relaxes the requirement for optimality by allowing inadmissible or weighted heuristics which can produce faster solutions that are good enough rather than optimal. Memory-bounded search addresses the limitation of finite memory by using implementation techniques and specialized algorithms that control space usage while searching. Bidirectional heuristic search attempts to search forward from the start and backward from the goal, but it does not guarantee finding an optimal cost solution. The quality of a heuristic function has a strong impact on search performance. More accurate heuristics generally lead to fewer node expansions and faster solutions. Heuristics can be generated from relaxed versions of problems, from identifying landmarks in the state space, or through learning methods that improve search behavior over time. Learning heuristics from experience 
allows agents to search more effectively by adapting to problem structure. In summary, search algorithms enable agents to select sequences of actions while balancing optimality, time, and memory constraints. A problem must be clearly defined before searching, and the state space graph represents the structure of the environment. The effectiveness of heuristic search algorithms largely depends on the quality and accuracy of the heuristic function used. Many real-world environments are continuous, which makes traditional search difficult due to an effectively infinite number of possible actions. Techniques from calculus developed by Newton and Leibniz are widely used in learning, robotics, and computer vision. Local search methods, such as hill climbing, are used for optimization, while stochastic approaches like simulated annealing help escape local optima. Other methods, including linear programming, convex optimization, and evolutionary algorithms, also provide efficient solutions in continuous spaces. In non-deterministic environments, actions may have multiple possible outcomes. Agents need conditional plans to handle uncertainty while simple problems, like the vacuum world, are easy in deterministic settings. Partially observable environments require agents to reduce uncertainty through their actions. Some problems provide no information from percepts, while others allow partial sensing, such as the 8 puzzle. Agents can use techniques like AND or SEARCH and maintain belief states to represent what they know about the environment. Offline SEARCH computes a complete solution before acting but online search interleaves computation, sensing, and action. Online agents update their knowledge and heuristics after each step, allowing them to act effectively in dynamic or unknown environments. Overall, search methods help agents find solutions in a variety of environments using optimization, planning, and learning to handle complexity and uncertainty. Games provide a useful domain for studying decision-making and search in artificial intelligence. Some games like chess and go are two-player zero-sum games with perfect information, meaning all players can observe the entire state of the game. Other games, such as poker and bridge, involve imperfect information because players receive private information. Stochastic games like backgammon combine chance and skill, introducing randomness through dice rolls or shuffled cards. Variants like Kriegspiel in chess involve partial observability, and card games are stochastic and partially observable due to random dealing. Game-playing algorithms rely on several key concepts, including the state space graph, search tree, and game tree, which represent all possible moves and outcomes. In two-player games, Max seeks to maximize its chances of winning, while Mine aims to minimize Max's success. Max's strategy requires conditional plans in response to Min's moves. The AND-OR search framework is useful for games with binary outcomes. The Minimax algorithm computes the best move for Max by considering all possible moves and assuming that Min plays optimally. Alpha-beta pruning improves efficiency by eliminating branches that do not affect the final decision, allowing the algorithm to find the optimal move without exploring every state. For complex games like Go, Monte Carlo Tree Search is used instead of alpha-beta pruning. It evaluates positions by averaging the outcomes of random playouts which is especially useful in games with large state spaces or stochastic elements. Evaluation functions are used to assign values to game positions, particularly in games of chance, to help the agent choose promising moves. These functions must account for uncertainty due to chance nodes or hidden information. Despite algorithmic advances, game search methods have limitations in highly complex or partially observable games. Programs often use pre-computed tables to select strong moves efficiently, while humans excel in games with imperfect information by using intuition and experience. A constrained satisfaction. Problem is a type of problem where the goal is to assign values to a set of variables in a way that satisfies a set of constraints. 
These problems are common in artificial intelligence for tasks such as scheduling, planning, resource allocation, and puzzle solving. A CSP consists of variables, which are the elements that need values, domains, which are the possible values each variable can take, and constraints, which are rules that limit which combinations of values are allowed. For example, in a map coloring problem, the variables are the regions of the map, the domains are the available colors, and the constraints prevent neighboring regions from having the same color. The goal is to assign colors to all regions without violating any constraints. CSPs are solved by exploring possible assignments while respecting the constraints. Backtracking search assigns values to variables one by one and backtracks when a constraint is violated. Forward checking reduces the search by eliminating values from remaining variables that would break constraints. Constraint propagation further reduces possibilities by deducing assignments from existing constraints. Heuristics, such as choosing the most constrained variable or the variable with the fewest legal options, can make the search more efficient.